Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and if you're watching this video, then you're most likely trying to play PUBG Mobile, and it's crashing. And you have an iPhone 5S, an iPad Mini 2, an iPad Mini 3, or the original iPad Air. And I've been doing some research into this, trying to figure this out, because the, uh, the video I made on potentially fixing crashes has gotten pretty popular, and that's cool. Um, so the first thing I figured out is that all of these... All these products use the A7 chipset, so Apple's A7 chipset. So that uses the PowerVR G6430 quad-core GPU. And it looks like there's some sort of incompatibility issue with this version of the app. And this is uh, 0.3.2.3216, downloaded from the US App Store. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a Chinese Apple ID and download 0.4.0, which is in the Chinese App Store. And that that version, well, it's in Chinese, but if you can get past that, the gameplay is the same. And because it's an updated version, it tends not to crash on these A7 devices. And in addition to this, the game also runs smoother. So join me today as we create an Apple ID. I'll show you exactly how to do that. And download the app from the Chinese App Store. All right, so creating a Chinese Apple ID might sound confusing, but don't worry, I'll talk you through it, and it's honestly not that bad. So I switched from the iPad to a tablet. Uh, that way we just have a better web browser experience, so I can show you this. And the first step is going to be to open appleid.apple.com in your browser. So I'll annotate that above the screen, and I'll also type it in here. So it's appleid.apple.com. and you should go to this site here. All right, so what we wanna do next is create your Apple ID and choose China as the country. So you can see up here, create Apple ID, so we'll click on that. And then we've got this screen, so create your Apple ID. So this doesn't have to be your, um, now I'm not gonna say, you know, lie on a form, but this doesn't have to be your, your information because this isn't going to be an Apple ID that you use for other things, just for this. So we'll uh, say John Doe, and then we want to change this. This is the most important part. We want to change your country to China. So we're going to go here. And then the rest of the information doesn't matter, so we'll just skip through that now. All right, so now we've created that application. I just want you to uh, see what it looks like before I submit it. And I just created John Doe, uh, country China. Here is his birthday. Here is a temporary email address that I created for this purpose. So uh, best friend, we'll go with Rob, that's generic. What's your dream job? YouTube, this guy aspires. And what's the name of the first beach? Awesome beach, because it is awesome. Um, and I don't think this matters too much. You enter the code and then you click continue. All right, so now that we created the application, we just have to verify our email address to create the uh, Apple ID. So just go into your email address. Again, I used to throw away just for video purposes, but uh, usually it will be like your second one or something um, because you do want access to it. And just enter that code here. All right, so now that we got that code in, let's click continue. And there we go, perfect. So we've created, John Doe has created his new Apple ID. So now what you want to do is you want to go to the device that you want to download PUBG, the uh, Chinese version, on, and you want to log in using this ID. So I'll show you that now. All right, so now that we created our Chinese Apple ID, what we need to do is go back to our iPhone or iPad and sign out of our current Apple ID. This will allow us to sign in to this new Chinese Apple ID. So you go into settings, and then you click on your name. So I've blocked this out just for personal details. Um, it'll have a list of your devices here. And in the bottom, if you scroll down, it'll have a red sign out button. And that's what we want to press. So you press that. And it's going to ask you for your current password, for your current Apple ID, so that it can turn off uh, Find My iPad or Find My iPhone and that sort of thing. So we're going to do that now. 
So because I had iCloud data on this iPad, um, when I'm signing out, it's going to either copy this to the device locally or delete it on the device, and then you can re-download it when you re-sign into your original Apple ID. This isn't obviously a super straightforward way of doing this. It's the easiest way to do it, but it still requires a bit of work on your part. And for that, you know, you do have to balance out, does it make sense um, to do this in order to be able to play PUBG Mobile? Um, and that's something only you can answer. I'm just making a video so that you know how to do it. So now that we've signed out, what we can do is sign in to our new Apple ID with location China. So now we're going to enter the Apple ID and password of the ID that we just created. So now that we entered the sign in of information for that new Apple ID, you can see this is what comes up. It says iCloud services are now operated by uh, Chinese. So we just, we're just going to continue to see how it is. You see China? That's good. That is what we want to see because when we go into the App Store, we'll see that updated version. So we agree to these terms and conditions. Say yes, yes. And now it's signing into iCloud. And remember, this is just a temporary ID. Uh, once the US version is updated to the same revision as the Chinese version, then hopefully we won't have to do this anymore because the US version will work. And that is 0, 0.4.0 right now. That's the current Chinese version. So we're signing into iCloud, and I'll be back as soon as this finishes. So now I got a prompt saying, do you want to merge with iCloud? And uh, I'm not going to merge just because the data that's on this phone is from my other iCloud account, uh, which I want to keep. So I'm going to say don't merge. All right, so now we logged in. You can see my name. You can see my email address. No need to uh, blur it out, which is awesome. And uh, with that said, let's go and see if we can load the Chinese version of the App Store and find that updated version of PUBG Mobile that will hopefully run on your device without crashing. Well, after an inopportune battery death on the camera, we are back. So I went back to the home screen. I think I lost the footage where I showed that I had to uh, log in again. And now we'll go to the App Store and hopefully, as you can see, everything is in Chinese. So this is the Chinese App Store. So if you go up here, and search, you can search in English, so we'll go P-U-B-G Mobile. And there you have it. So the one we want, so there are two different versions. One of them, I believe, has bullet drop. The other one doesn't. The one we want, though, is the one with the, the little video playing. Um, I believe there's a, a funny chicken that pops up in a second, so we'll, we'll wait for that, see if, uh, see if that happens. There it is. There's the chicken. <laughs> All right, sorry, I, I like the chicken. Um, so we go down here, and you can see version 0 0.4.0 updated one week ago. So this is the one we want. So again, uh, hopefully, if you, if you have any issues downloading it, you may need to, again, log into your account or just confirm uh, an address. It can be at just any Chinese address. Um, but you should be good to go. So... Hopefully this works for you. Hopefully they update the app. So this isn't necessary because I said it early on that, you know, it's it's not that bad, but it is it is a process and it's a bit of a pain because um, if you want to log back into your other iTunes account, your other iCloud account, you have to log out of this one and then like restart the device, log back in. So it's just, it's kind of a pain. So let's hope for a quick update. I'll definitely bring you that when they update the US version. But for now, hopefully this gets the PUBG Mobile working on devices that it wouldn't launch on previously. And the only reason for that is because this is a more updated version and they fixed something, some software incompatibility with the phones and iPads that are currently crashing. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Definitely subscribe if you did. And I hope to see you in a future video soon.